Mad Dog Gaming here at the end today, guys. Today, guys, I'm bringing you a vlog here on camping here. Next four days, I'll be showing you some camping stuff here at Gordon Lake. As you can see, go this way. Up there, get some firewood. There's camps there. Woods here, and there's camps all the way down there. It's actually a trout lake. There's actually Little Gordon and Big Gordon. Nice night vision out here, guys. As you can see, uh, camper back there, truck back there. All nice and dark out now here. I always gotta like the campfires. So right now I'm going down to the water here and there's actually a broken down tree here that fell down I believe about two years ago because there's a storm out here. This is the big tree I'm talking about. Gordon Lake here guys. Nice beautiful trout lake. That's where a lot of people like to go and uh, jump off of right there. Most people like to go far fishing out there. It's a decent sized lake. Yeah, and I remember a couple years, maybe five or six years ago, divers would come out here and they'd go all the way out there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, they go all the way out there and scuba dive 100 feet down in the water. This tree right here used to have like a rope swing on it, but then that broke off and then this tree eventually fell down. Not too many people swim over down here because it's very rocky. Most people go way over there where the regular beach is. It's a very nice lake. Like I said, it's a trout lake, so it's like really cold. Gotta get some wood. Running low. See all this wood behind me. It's like all clear cut it out here. A little on the noisy side there, guys. around here. This is all like clear cut it out here. Maybe not the best thing for the environment, I have to say, but like they come in here and cut all this out. All that. Okay, I'm going to walk all the way down here just to show you how thick this is. I'm literally walking on branches here it's like really soft I mean it's not insane insane I've seen bigger clear cuts being out here I haven't seen any clear cuts like this and then just from here that's back at the truck there at least a thousand square feet cut out here if not more probably two thousand three thousand I don't know there's a lot of stuff here but it's just a lot of pine and stuff like that like stuff like this is this will like burn like fast. You put that on the fire, that'll immediately burn fast. It's like so dry and dead. There's a nice chunk of wood there. Look at that. That's a nice hunk. Decent size right there. I'll zoom in there. It's been a couple of years since I've been back here. I'll show you around one more time. And then we'll walk back there but that's just an insane amount the next spot here guys see the lake right from here and down the tree dead one is falling over
Rutherford, I go and take a walk to this cliff that I haven't walked to in a while. Probably four or five years since I've been up here. This is where usually all the minnows are. But I can't see any minnows right now, but it's pretty high up here. Very rocky here. I wouldn't recommend jumping here, but unless you're an experienced swimmer, which I am not, so I wouldn't jump here. All rocky right there. Right there. Right there. And it's not really that deep right there. Probably only a couple of feet. You go up further, obviously it's a little deeper. Yeah, and you can see how high I'm up. I'm at least 15, 20, maybe 10 feet. At least 10 feet up. There's another rock up here. Goes up a little bit higher. All dead fall trees up here. I don't want to move any closer to the end. I don't want to slip off. I'll be falling 10 feet down. Just to show you guys some perspective of how high this is, I've taken the liberty of uh, finding a couple of rocks and so I can drop them down there to show you how deep it is. There goes a duck or a loon. Decently deep.